The following has been developed by state and provincial agencies in association with the Agency for Instructional Television. Together, serving education. Show the class the headstand and the forward roll. Point your toes and roll. I'll never be able to do that. Sure you will, Kaylin. With a little practice, you all can. Down on the mat, everybody. To do a good headstand, your hands and your head should form the points of a triangle. With your hands here and your head here. Then all you do is kick your feet up and in the air. Try it. Told you I can't do it. You don't have enough strength in your stomach muscles yet, but we can fix that. These will give you the strength you need in no time. I want you all to do a few every day for the next few weeks. Then try the headstands again. How many do we have to do, Miss Macy? I'd say for you girls, Start with 12 or 15. Then each day, do a few more than you did the day before. Write down how many you do so you don't forget. Can we make a graph of our progress like the people on the gymnastic team do? That's a good idea, Chinetta. I'll get my clipboard. I'll show you. You both can make a graph like this one and mark down the number of sit-ups you do each day. Then you'll see very clearly just how much you've improved. Do these sit-ups. And I guarantee you, in two weeks, you'll be able to do this. I'll never be able to do that. Yes, you will. We'll both do it. You? 24. That's great! I did my graph too. Want me to show you? Um, now's not a good time. Here comes the bus. Show me your lunch, okay? Okay. Mason said it would take at least two weeks, and I can't do one yet either. But you can see we're doing more sit-ups every day, look. You've done all those? 
Mine doesn't look like yours. It should. We've both done as many. Hey, they do look different. No wonder I can't do a headstand. I'm not doing nearly as many as you. Wait, Kayla, there must be something wrong. We've both done about the same number. You don't have to be so nice. I don't think I want to do a headstand anymore. Wait, Kayla, don't be like that. Once upon a time, in a tiny little town, Hear ye, hear ye, terrible news. A whole family of man-eating giants has moved in on the other side of the mountain. Oh, no. Help, help. What are we going to do? But never fear. I'm here to save you. Really? Great. How are you going to do that? Drink my special giant repellent. It makes you too bitter to eat. Uh, give me one, will you? I'll buy some of that. Me too. Everyone rushed to buy, all except Jack. Wait. Just how big are these giants? <laughs> I'm glad you asked that, young man, because I just so happen to have brought the smallest giant with me. But he's not very big. <laughs> not yet he isn't, but bear in mind that he's only five years old. Now, look at these two graphs. Normal people on this one, and giants on this one. See how slowly we grow and how fast giants grow? Imagine how big his parents are. Oh, more repellent, more repellent, please. Give me all you got, give me all you got. Before I buy any giant repellent, I think I'll take a closer look at these two graphs. Mr. Salesman? Oh, well, well, don't bother me, boy. What, what is it, what is it? Correct me if I'm wrong, but the only difference between these two graphs is that the age marks along the bottom of the giant graph are much closer together than the age marks along the bottom of the normal people graph. Am I right? Oh, yes, 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 yes. Well, uh, don't bother me now, boy. Can't you see I'm busy? But Jack didn't need to bother him. All he needed to do was to go over to the other side of the mountain and bring in the giants single-handed. You can all relax now. I've captured the giants. Oh, well, wow. Atta boy. But, but how did you do it? Simple. The marks along the bottom of the graphs stand for age. Five years, 10 years, 15 years, and so on. And the marks along the side of the graphs stand for height. Two feet, four feet, six feet. A normal person can grow to four feet by age 10 and almost to six feet by age 15. Now look at the giant's graph. By age 10, a giant is also about four feet tall and by age 15, he's also almost six feet tall. So you mean that these giants are no bigger than normal people? Of course not. Both graphs are exactly the same. It looks as if they grow faster, but in fact, they don't. Let me introduce them to you. Meet the giant family. Hi there, everybody. We're your new neighbors, Bob and Alice Giant. Where's that salesman? We want our money back. Where is he? The moral of this story is, always take a close look at what the marks on graphs stand for, or you'll end up making a mountain out of a molehill. What?
many can you do, Chinetta? Fifty-two. Oh, very good. You should be about ready to do your first headstand. And you, Kaylin, how many can you do? Fifty-one, but I don't think I'm ready. Oh, she's ready, Miss Maylin, but her grounds doesn't look right. Suppose we let Kaylin make up her own mind, Chinetta. Would you try the headstand for us? Yes, Miss Mason. Very good. Now go in at the tuck and hold it until you've got your balance. Take a breath and push your legs straight up. I can do it! I can do it! I can't. You won't know unless you try. Oh, all right. See, I told you I can't do it. If you don't believe me, look at my graph. Graph? What graph? The graph she told us to make up so we can watch our progress. Oh, so I did. May I see yours after class, please? See? Her line's steeper than my line. The graphs do look different, but actually you've done about the same amount of setups. That's what I keep trying to tell her. They look different because of the way you set up the graph, Kaylin. You both use the same scale on the vertical line. One square equals two sit-ups. But compare the scale on the horizontal axis. On mine, one square equals one day. But on mine, two squares equal one day. Kaylin, why don't you change your graph so that one day equals one square, like on Chinetta's graph? Then see what happens. It looks like mine now. It also looks like you can do your headstand. Want to try it again? Okay. Now form the triangle with your hands and your head. Come on, Kayla, you can do it. Now take a deep breath and push your legs slowly into the air. Come on, Kayla, just a little further. No! Nothing can stop you now. Finish it. All right. Yay. Hey, this is easy. Gee, if I'd known how easy this would be, I wouldn't have had to worry so much. How come you never told me this would be so easy? How come we never told you how easy this would be? It figures, a component of the Skills Essential to Learning project. was produced by KLCS Los Angeles under the supervision of the Agency for Instructional Television.